if it wasn't for her neck, she'd look like Beyonce. I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> I got into video accidentally. So I worked at BuzzFeed and I was writing and like I was a editorial fellow. And then when I moved to Los Angeles, the editorial team and the video team were sitting together and they just needed actors because it was like too expensive to get real actors. And they were like, Ashley, you're kind of like loud. Do you want to be in videos? And that's completely and accidentally how I got into video. And when I started at BuzzFeed, I was actually covering YouTubers and VidCon. I came to VidCon as press, and then next year I came as a YouTuber. I never feel nervous in front of the camera. I always get jittery after. So at BuzzFeed, the first video I actually did was called That Awkward Moment When, and it kind of characterized my whole persona for the rest of my time at BuzzFeed. It's always a weird feeling. Like, you spend so much time making these videos, and you you truly don't know which one is gonna go viral or for what reason. And so it's always kind of a nice surprise if you don't suspect it. I used to do this bit called Tiny Hand with truly just a tiny hand that I would like roll up my sleeve and run around the office like faking everyone out. And that video went viral. It was like tiny hand problems and it's so stupid, but I love that on the internet you can do very, very serious videos that really impact people's heart and their mind. And I did a video about my coming out story and like, that was such a cool video for that, and then I did tiny hand problems, and it's okay for both to exist on the internet. Someone said, if her neck wasn't like that, she'd look like Beyonce. And so it was both the weirdest dig and the best compliment. I was like, so you're saying that the only thing separating me from looking like Beyonce is my neck? There's no rules right now, and there's no gatekeepers. I remember, I've always been obsessed with media and TV and film, and I remember just as a young kid looking in and knowing that I would never be in there, and I feel like the internet completely changed all that. It made it so egalitarian, so that if you are an interesting person or have good ideas, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go ask old white men if you can make your content. And so that, to me, is the reason that even if I do make TV or books or anything that is like traditional, I'll always make digital content because I think it's amazing that you can post whatever you want whenever you want.